Hello and welcome. This is an introduction video and a betting haul for my new channel, Robo Zero Vlogs. My main channel is Loki Zero Black Wolf, so if you want to check that out, please do. Uh, I have two Robos at the moment. They're both living together. They're females. The white, she has a little gray spot. Uh, I don't think you can see it yet, but her name is Charlotte. She is about a year and a half old, and she's the first hamster I've gotten. Um, and she's really great for her first hamster. She's really docile, not completely tame, but she is. She's definitely far exceeds my expectations for a first hamster. And then this Agouti, Agouti, however you pronounce that, is. Scarlet. When I first got Scarlet, um, it was about three months after I had Charlotte. Charlotte, I began to notice, was looking lonely and depressed. So I decided to see if a cage mate would cheer her up. It did. They got along fabulously. From the very first moment I put them together, I did not have to split cage them. Which you, I do recommend. Uh, when you put two uh, unknown hamsters together uh, as it will end up in less fights. These two were just remarkable together. And Scarlet is a little over a year old. Um, she is very sweet but she's shy. I can handle her but she doesn't like to be handled all that often. So I try not to handle her um, as much as I um, can because she really does not like that. Um, now they're sort of getting uh, winding down. I just clean their tank and they're finished exploring and getting ready for a nap in the little cardboard house shade thing. Uh, they have actually two houses in this uh, this makeshift cardboard house, which they really like. It gives them some shade, and it's really it's really big for them. And a little strawberry house I got from Petco. Uh, they sometimes go in there, but lately they've been boycotting it until recently. So it's in there now. And they have two wheels, a little flying saucer, and a uh, roll. Well, regular sized silent spinner uh, so they can yeah I had the little ones but they had trouble running on them together so I thought it'd be best to upgrade it to a bigger one so they can both run onto it happily and I have a log um, some chew toys uh, then that is their food bowl at the moment I have a coconut I got from uh, PetSmart a while ago for 67 cents. Originally intended for reptiles as a water bowl, but it makes a great food bowl too. You can put a lot of food in there, or well, not so much in it. They can crawl around it and chew on it without any worry. Uh, salt lick there. Um, there's some treats in there. Uh, and I have some uh, Timothy. Hey, um, Hey, that I've recently started adding since her or since Charlotte's UTI, which she had in the beginning of the year, uh, which is why she looks a bit skinny now. She hasn't recovered fully. Uh, there's their sand bath, water bottle, and if you notice really quickly, there is three different types of bedding in there. Uh, quick, can you guess all the beddings? Okay, if you have not get, if you do not know, or you have guessed, here are the beddings. This the little bottom layer, the little purple stuff, is KT soft granules, lavender scented. I this is my first time using it, and I normally don't recommend scented bedding, but it was on a really good sale which I'll tell you about later and I'm just using it as base 
a, a, so I won't use as much bedding everywhere else. And I'll let you know how I like it and what I think about it. Then I have Petco brand uh, wood sh uh, Aspen wood shavings. They're not the best wood shavings I've used. Uh, KT Aspen has definitely been the best wood shavings. And then there, you see the little white fluff things are Carefresh Ultra, which you may be wondering, silly Loki, you have a white hamster. Why do you have Carefresh Ultra, a white bedding? Well, Carefresh Ultra is actually one of the beddings that recommended the best out of all the Carefresh line. It's actually not as smelly as the others, and it's very low in dust compared to the others. And I just put it in there as some nesting material, and I'll see how that goes. As this is my first, also my first time using Carefresh Ultra. Uh, so that's about it for the cage. For the cage uh, is a 29 gallon tank with a screen top and locks because I have cats and I don't want the cats getting in even though they don't really show any predatory instincts. It's a security caution which I do recommend if you're getting a tank and you have other animals. A screen top and locks or if you have children it prevents them from getting in it's pretty much child proof um, because they can't just really move it out. And also, uh, friends escaping hams. Uh, well, robos you don't have to worry about escaping unless you have really high up uh, levels and toys. Because uh, this is a pretty tall tank, as you can see. But if you have a Syrian, you will need a screen top and locks as they will try to escape as pretty much as much as they can possibly can as far as I've heard. I've never had one, uh, but I hope to have one in the future. Now moving on to my hamster haul. I'm um, sorry if the lighting's a bit dark. The light above my bed sort of sorted out the other day. But I got this two days ago, Carefresh Ultra Petco. Um, it was uh, buy one get one free, really great sale, but it's regular price. So it's still expensive, but you're getting two for one, which I highly advise if your Petco is having that sale, stock up. Uh, and then the KT Soft Granules. Uh, this is the uh, lavender scent. I have a big bag and a small bag. The small bag's almost gone, even though it's my first use out of it, because it's a big tank. Um, I got the small bag for two dollars. I don't know if you can see that, but it says two dollars on there. Uh, well, normally the price is ten dollars. Uh, I also got that at a uh, Peco. It's a different Peco. I got that yesterday. And then I got a bigger bag, just in case I liked it, for six dollars. And this is normally will cost you twenty-seven. So I think that's a pretty good deal for first try bedding. If I don't like it, I can always resell it on Craigslist. So yeah. Uh, that's my introduction video and a little hamster haul. Uh, I'll post more videos soon. I hope to you subscribe and visit often.